So this is a tutorial on uh, how to trigger the remote control API in Unreal Engine through HTTP. Um, most of the information and the references you can actually find on the website and the 4.27 is mostly accurate for also 5.3. Uh, so let's get started. So within Unreal, we make sure that we go to the plugins. We're going to search for remote control and we're going to um, for this to work, we need to activate the remote control API. It is experimental or a beta, so it will give you a warning. And in this case, uh, just um, to test some things, I'm also gonna activate the remote control web interface. And let's restart the project. I normally always double check if everything went correct. So if we're gonna search, we see that it's turned on. Now, uh, so let's get started by adding something that we wanna change with the remote control API. So in my case, I'm just gonna add a actor text and we're gonna add a text renderer. And let's make the world size a little bit bigger so we can easily see it later. And we go to the event graph. Uh, and like I said, there are multiple ways to do it, but often I just make a custom event. We're gonna call this change text. Uh, and we're gonna drag the text renderer as a reference. And we're gonna, at the moment this fired, we wanna change the text. So we do set text. Uh, and to get the new value, we need to actually have a variable in our custom event. So we're gonna have a text variable and we're gonna call this text. Drag this into each other. And that's the basic setup for an actor to change the text. And of course you can do way more complex things, uh, but this is just an example. Um, so let's drag this one in. Maybe there, so when we hit play, we can actually see it. Yeah. Uh, next up, we're gonna add a remote control preset. And let's uh, call this tutorial. Ah, not possible because this project is already called, over the, the map is already called tutorial. So let's call this tutorial remote preset double click it and now we want to add this actor into our things that we want to control so let's look for text and here you have the actor uh, that's in the level and here we can choose what we want to do i only made the custom event change text but you have all these other things that are default within an actor so let's do change text and we can actually, uh, it actually already has the value that we set in our custom event. So if I'm correct, this is a text and we call it function, it will change the text. Cool. So our next step is actually triggering this true HTTP. We've tested that it worked. So now um, I'm using a program called Postman and a great program for uh, testing and prototyping any HTTP request. So it's also free, by the way. Uh, we're just gonna start a new request. And first, we're gonna uh, see if our HTTP can, uh, or if we can actually get data from our project. So in that case, we do HTTP local slash slash lo local host. Then 30010, because th that's the port that's running on. Uh, you can change this in the project settings. Then we do remote slash preset slash tutorial underscore remote 
underscore preset. So now uh, we're doing a get request. So we're requesting in this case uh, information from the project. And if we send it to this link, we will get an overview of what we can do. So the name of the ter uh, the, the name of the preset that we created here is tutorial underscore remote underscore preset. And then uh, we have the exposed functions or the exposed properties. At this moment, we didn't do any exposed properties. We can actually do the exposed functions. So here we have our uh, function that we made. Uh, we have the name of the function. Uh, we have the uh, and we have the arguments. So the variables that we can change. And in this case, we can change text. So now, if we want to change the text, we're going to make this into a put request because we're giving information to Unreal. That's the easiest way to think about it. And uh, then we're, uh, because it's a function that we made, we do slash function. We do slash change text. And then to actually send a, uh, uh, a new variable, we're gonna add a body to this uh, HTTP request. We're gonna do this raw. And we're going to open this parameters uh, to say what parameters we're going to send with this request. And that's going to be text because that's how we called it. And then let's send this is a text sent to HTTP, uh, and of course, if you add more variables, you can add more variables to the parameters. Important is that you then use the different signs. So if we do text two, this is a second text. Of course, we didn't do this at the moment, uh, but I just wanted to show that you can do that. Let's remove that. And Unreal also asks for uh, a, a transaction, they call it. Uh, so we're just going to make sure that we're going to generate a transaction true. This is just something that uh, is, uh, is within the logic of how the remote control API is set up within Unreal Engine. So you always need to add this. So let's test it. So if we're now going to send it, uh, we get an error message unable to deserialize request. And that's because I probably added this at the end and the last sentence, as, uh, the last variable shouldn't have that, shouldn't have the comma. So let's try it again. Now we see that we can send an HTTP trigger to Unreal. Uh, next up, I will show you how to do it with the Stream Deck. So triggering Unreal through Stream Deck, which is just an HTTP. Um, often in the broadcast I work, we use Stream Decks to send multiple triggers to different devices or software. So also to Unreal sometimes. So in this case, we're just going to add a generic HTTP request. We're going to add that. Um, and here we're going to do the base URL. If we go back to Postman, our base URL will always be, in this case, um, the following. Uh, HTTP, localhost, port, remote preset, tutorial, remote preset. So let's put it there. And we call this uh, Unreal Engine as a label. Uh, doesn't really matter, but normally uh, if it's internal use, I put this on accept and now if we go to buttons regular and we're going to change text through the button so what we're going to do is we're going to browse go to unreal and we're going to actually do a put request so add uh, and this is the url after the base url so if we go back and look at this url we only put what's after this URL. 
So in this case, if we want to change the text, we only put function slash change text. Then we're going to copy paste the same command and put that in the body. And this should work. So let's change the text to stream and deck. And now, now if we test the button, we'll see that we can uh, trigger everything through Stream Deck with the same HTTP requests. 